So give all the love. People are already applauding for him. Give all the love and applause for Gary Daniel Bastardo Jimenez. Hello. Hello. I'm just, you know. So love, love is so beautiful. But it can get you, it can get you killed. <laughs> so I was, I'm about to do the craziest thing I have ever done in my life, and it was to see a girl that I like, that I met in ninth grade when she was in tenth grade, and now I'm a senior. And she already graduated, and I don't see her anymore. So I want to see her. So I decided to go to New Jersey to, <laughs> and even though I didn't know good the address i decided to surprise her yeah that was not the smartest idea <laughs> and yeah so i had to go to the terminal bus and i didn't take any charger even though how long was the trip that i was going to take and i was my gps was on the whole time and i was listening to music and my phone just was just dying, so I got to the terminal bus, and the terminal bus, it was so big that for me it looks like an airport, with hundreds of buses to take, and I was so lost that I had to ask somebody to tell me, and I, I asked him, yo, I want to get to New Jersey, what should I do? <laughs> and he was like, yo, what part of New Jersey you want to go? And I was like, I just told you I want to go to New Jersey. <laughs> and his face was like, damn, this guy is really lost. <laughs> so I have to give him my phone with the address because I didn't even know how to pronounce the, the place that I was going. And I still don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and he took me to the right place, the right boss. And I didn't even know that I had to pay for a bus. I was just depending on my school metro card. <laughs> so I was lucky. I was lucky that, that the next the day before I asked, I asked my mom for a haircut, for money to get a haircut, which I never did. Sorry, mom. And, but that was good because I used the money to get into the bus. So when I got to the line, I realized that that line was bigger than the Washington Bridge. Like, I spent an hour in that line. And when I finally got to the bus, and there was only one seat left, and a woman next to it, this seat, and she was just looking at me, like saying, don't even think about sitting next to me. <laughs> And we started like talking about telepathy, and I was like, I don't care, I'm gonna sit there because I've been waiting for an hour and I'm tired, I'm gonna sit there. So I sit in there, and my GPS for some reason stopped, stopped working, and this woman was looking at me the whole time, and I just was in panic. So I thought the bus was already past the place that I wanna go, and I got off earlier. And my GPS, for some reason, started working again, and I realized that I was two hours away from her house. And I was just lost. <laughs> and I realized that love is really blind because it makes you think that you, it makes you do things that you never thought you would do. <laughs> Crazy things. And I was able to see the whole New York City, and I was like, damn, this is beautiful but it, it would be more beautiful if I could see her instead. And I took that moment to tell myself what the hell I just did. <laughs> and I just kept walking and walking and I was so hungry that I heard my stomach saying like, feed me please. <laughs> Man, you're gonna die if you don't feed me. And 
So um, I was, I only had to find a place to sleep because my phone was like 1%. It was like one minute before it dies and I, and I die with it. <laughs> and, I, and I took the last minutes just to ask, just to call her and at least her, her voice. Like, my, it was like my last words. <laughs> and I told her, um, I patiently said, yo, I'm lost, please, help me. <laughs> and it was just, I, just at that moment that my phone died. <laughs> so, I was just sitting in front of, um, of a building, hoping that somebody would help me. And the people was just walking by me like they didn't care. And there, there it was even one guy that gave me one dollar. I appreciate it, at least something. <laughs> so it started raining, and I said, I'm going to a building, somebody's building, even though that I can get arrested. I don't care. I, I got to find a place to sleep, though. So I went to the last floor, and it was not as good as my bed, but it was something, at least. And Next day, I woke up, and I was totally a mess. I had a headache, my bag was hurting, and I told myself, is this really how I want to surprise her? <laughs> so <clears throat> I went to a store so that I can get a charge or something, and there were some Dominicans from my country, and they were like, yo, que lo que, manito, como tu That means, that, that means, how are you? I, I, And I, <laughs> and I told him, yo, I'm lost in another state. I was sleeping, I was sleeping in the stairs, but I'm good, I'm happy to be alive at least. <laughs> so once my phone finally, once my phone finally got, my GPS was on, and I realized that I was literally next to her house. I don't know how, how I, hate, I get there, but I was next to her house. And I called her and I told her, um, I'm here. Can you please pick me up? Because I don't know where I am. I, all, all I know is that I'm around your house. And she was like, I'm sick. I can't. <laughs> and I told her, so you're telling me that I came all the way to New Jersey to see her. You're telling me that you're sick. And she always, obviously she thought it was a joke. And I told her, can you please see through the window if I can find you? And she saw me and she was like shaking her hand. And it was like the best one for me. I was like, I finally got it. <laughs> and she told me, yeah, you're really crazy. So I went to her house, um, we ate some papas con salami, and she gave me some chocolate because I was really cold. And although she's not here, I just want to thank her to, because she has sent me to go to prom with me. And <laughs> Wait, I'm not done. So, I don't know what they always think I'm done when I said that this year. <laughs> so, um, since this, this is being recorded, I just want to tell you that you're the most beautiful girl I ever met. And even though you, even though you might not feel the same for me, I just want to let you know that I love you. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.